What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate that shit. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your hot tea, your coffee, your crystals, your incense. Whatever it takes, go be able to say tap into these fools around you <laughs> at this time. If you just see an ad, let it play for a minute or two so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of my members only community. That's where I'll be putting all a lot of my videos at, all right? Um, if you are a Scorpio and it is your birthday, you are a member of mine and we are friends on Facebook, you could get a random call from me on your birthday. All I need you to do is email me your birthday. I already rolled up on one of my members. <laughs> happy birthday, belated birthday. Deserve it on a happy Scorpio season to all of us. All right, let's get into the messages. So one popped out. Scorpio spreading lies. What else is new? Slandering, bad mouthing. Mm -hmm. They don't know what. They don't know. They don't have no information, so they making shit up. <laughs> Cause you dipped out on their ass. I'm saying the time is saying one four four. I'm talking to hundred and forty four the hundred and forty four thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's like. Now this person having to eat their words. Somebody's going to have to eat their words. I just heard that. Like, whatever this is they say about you, they about to have to eat that shit. They about to have, have to eat crow. Yeah, childhood issues. This person suffers from abandonment. This person needs inner healing, shadow work for sure. But they think they're going to inner work and shadow work you. It's not going to work. Yeah, I told you they got abandonment issues. And that's what they finna be, fucking abandoned. Like, Scorpio gonna uppercut your ass. Don't think we don't see your deficiencies while we fucking with you now. Just because we ain't saying nothing and shredding your ass to pieces like you do, do, did us. Don't mean we don't know. Yeah, your ass finna be left for dead, though. I know that. Look at that rose. Unapologetically and have a nice life with that rose. That rose is just like saying, bitch, I forgive you. I'm gone. Because, see, really what they're saying, too, is Scorpio can grow on dead motherfucking ground. Scorpio can grow on a tombstone, but, bitch, I couldn't get nothing off the ground with you. I'm deserting this shit. Anything that's triggering you, you deserting it. Literally, this person ain't nothing but a trigger. And that's what they come to do. They come to trigger you. Give me one second, Scorpio. This somebody trigger because you setting it off. <laughs> It's like, bitch, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have went to the courthouse, we'd have never got divorced, ho. Like, literally, yeah, this person a part of some type of cult, thought, thought you was going to be the sacrifice, thought they was going to take you down. Like, this bitch got twisted ass beliefs. They don't even believe in God. They say they do. Yeah, this some this somebody who used the Bible to, um, I just heard throw witchcraft. I don't even know what the hell that means. Somebody used, used the Bible to throw witchcraft. Uh-huh. Yeah, my ancestors up on whatever y'all new terminologies is. I got modern spirits too. Yeah, overall energy is a simp. Somebody who ain't even worth their time. That's a part of this code. Doing too much for someone going overboard. Mm -hmm. They out there spreading love and legs and thighs and all type of shit to other folks. But they simping you. They simping on you. They doing all this shit for other people. But they, they ain't got nothing to offer Scorpio. And abandoning in the middle of your reading. Like you, you hitting this person where it hurts. Like an uppercut in the goozer. Like they ain't going to be able to come back from it. Because that's what they suffer from. The one thing that Scorpio been supporting and trying to help you get through. Is the main thing that this person is going to feel when you leave their ass. Like that's how that shit's supposed to go. Let me check this energy real quick. Because I'm feeling something hidden here. Yeah, something strange and sinister. Like, something is like, really... Like, some of y'all could be feeling this energy around y'all. I'm hearing peeping tongues. Somebody peeping in somebody's windows. Or somebody under some type of heavy surveillance with this person. I feel like this is hired help. 
Yeah, it's like somebody literally trying to take you out, trying to sacrifice you. Yeah, you still live on, like literally. You you escape the escape artist. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Yeah, like, come on, man. These people really think this gonna happen. Five, five, five on the time. I couldn't find spreading lies and bad mouthing you. Somebody's yeah, causing you, somebody trying to cause you to lose your appetite. Somebody wants you to look cracked out like you're a fucking street walker. Not gonna happen. Somebody could be saying you cracked down in the street walker, you on drugs. Your little root work, it came out in the reverse. Somebody mad because their root work ain't working. This kitchen magic ass shit. Somebody ain't got no power. That's why they fucking with you anyway. What else? Yeah, they can't stand to see you shine. That's all this is. So for some of y'all, y'all with this person. I keep getting that. Like, we literally with the ops. Clarify childhood issues. We literally with the ops. Like, literally. It says haters are mad because they see you winning. People see you winning, Scorpio. They see you shining, blossoming, whatever the fuck. They ain't see you when you were struggling. But these are people who suffer with inner child healing. These are people that can't be happy for other people. They just simply can't. They need to do shadow work. Instead, they do shallow work. They work out on their bodies. They eat clean. They do all this meditating shit. But really, their inner man is fucked up. Yeah, Jupiter retrogrades. People got people. Whoever these people are, they want to be in control over your decision making. But they have problems making important life changes. Like so, you know, if this somebody that you plan the future with, you can't expand with somebody like that. You abundant. Prosperity definitely in your energy, but not this person. It's holding you back. This could be somebody who started from small beginnings. Hell, we all did. This somebody who loved to play victim. Yeah, block heart, ch heart chakra. This somebody who closed off and they want you to be the same way. Like this somebody who don't want don't want you to have that healing energy, that healing type love, that balance. You know, of affection and compassion. This somebody who, you know, they the total opposite of this shit. They close off. They have issues with affection. Literally. Yeah, personality disorder. They don't know how to how to be themselves. Yeah, see what I'm saying? That's what you abandoning. Like, this person too many damn things and they ain't nothing. This could be an air sign, Gemini. I'm getting dual energy. Clarify abandon here. Yeah, they claim they did it first, knowing damn well they got inspired by you. Yeah, see, you sleeping with the ops. You in a relationship with the ops. Meanwhile, they, 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 these people are cast off. Yeah, look, energy vampire. These people are cast off. Ain't nobody fucking with them because they know that, you know, these, these people, these type of people is the people that can't sit with you at that table. Like, literally, no shade, but you can't... The lack of support you gave me and how you did me, no shade. You can't sit at this table. Like, literally. And you're abandoning those type of people. Because Scorpio, if you're in a relationship with Scorpio, they're going to invest, baby. Just the way Scorpio live is an investment. Like, somebody being in that energy, they're going to want to suck it all up. This somebody who just excessively demands your attention and emotional support. Like, they don't know how to feel. Yeah, hating on your creativity and your ideas. See what I'm saying? An uh, unexplained free accident. Somebody gonna have an accident. A car accident. <laughs> Somebody could be. I, I just heard something about self. Um, about suicide. Or uh, somebody slitting their wrist. I don't know why I heard that. Somebody. Somebody is very depressed here. Somebody loves to be vic play the victim here. Um, on triggered, you getting remote viewing. Somebody looking into your life. With their mind or something. Somebody trying to access your Akashic records and it's triggering you, Scorpio. It's setting something off. Yeah, spreading rumors about you. They, they that weak shit go again. Like, this feels like a masculine energy doing this to that, like, they baby mama, ex-wife. You fucking lame. What else on trigger? This could be the person who put a bullet in their own fucking head because they want to put one in yours. Yeah, it says, seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex-breaking ritual. This is somebody who blocking your money and your love life because you ain't fucking with they ragged ass no more. Clarify this cult. They thought you was going to be a sacrifice. They plans didn't work. 
you realize it's some strange ass, sinister ass, twisted belief ass person. Like something about you alerted you. Your ancestors, just show, you being spiritually aware, I don't know. But something made you aware of this shit. Yeah, look, fake spiritualists in this cult. Somebody trying to, like I said, access your Akashic Records. Somebody trying to change somebody um Akashic Records. That's what I just heard. You also pulling on worst enemy, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like for, for some of y'all, y'all could be... This could be somebody you let mentor you in the past is what I'm getting. Somebody very sinister and twisted. For some of y'all, I just heard, your, it, it could have been your grandma, somebody who passed over. They not an ancestor, though. I'm hearing they, they just your grandma that passed over. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm also hearing, like, you caused most of your problems, Scorpio. It says they secretly keep tabs on your every move. Yeah, this cold. Because they was trying to single you out. They was trying to sacrifice you. It says claiming credit over your success. Yeah. Somebody somebody, somebody wanted credit for, for um, being the one to sacrifice you. They not going to get that shit. You moved on. Something happened quick, so quick they couldn't even focus on it. Causing unexplained body pain and numbness is the overall energy. That's just... That's just spirit letting you know they there. That's all that is. You ain't studying that shit. Literally. Let's get into the tarot real quick. That's just you knowing somebody somebody there with that weak, low vibrational ass energy trying to <coughs> make you feel like your life is crumbling. And it's it's like it's not working at all. It's not working. Like, you know what time it is with your life. Like literally, whoever this person is need to get a life and stop watching yours. That's what I'm hearing. Just going to admit that they want to be like you and, and just be better with their own shit. Like, stop spreading lies on Scorpio. Somebody think if they can, if they can make you look a certain type of way, then they'll, they, they'll move up in rank. And that ain't what's going on. They look like a straight fool out here talking about you because people know who they are, literally. Clarify spreading lies. Clarify spreading lies. Yeah, the hermit. You you see, I'm telling you because you abandoned, ghosted they ass, turned the tables on them. They don't know where you at and what you doing. They making up shit. They making up shit, but what they don't know, what they saying out their mouth ain't lining up with your energy. Yeah, look, the justice card. Two major arcanas coming out back to back. It's like you broke free from this shit and you celebrating life. And this person around here spreading lies telling people... You somewhere with somebody else. You left them for somebody else. All this shit. Maybe you did. With the hermit and the justice. Justice could talk about partnerships too. Mutual attractions and even connection in marriage. So yeah. You did leave the ass with somebody. So they telling the truth about that. But they telling lies. They putting too much on it. Yeah the real, the real truth is. They mourning the loss of you. Losing. This is somebody who mourning losing you to somebody else. Because they want to play for kids. so Because they want to fucking not heal their childhood issues. And they got abandoned and left. Because whoever these people are, when they operate in this, when they, don't, when they refuse to heal their abandonment issues, they tend to be the one to abandon you first. And when you abandon them first, they be all fucked up and get obsessive and want to peep in your windows and shit. And want to sacrifice you for no reason. Like, literally is what I'm getting. Clarify this childhood issues. They doing shallow work and not shadow work. Yeah, this queen of wands in reverse. This a distorted ass feminine or a distorted ass masculine energy that's like in they in they feminine energy. I don't know. But this some warped ass shit. Whoever this person is too, I feel like they having a problem with their sexuality. I just heard that. That's one of the reasons why they don't want to look within. This person is very narrow minded and deceitful too. They're very insecure and they just jealous of you. Like literally, this person don't have no self-respect. They have this like introverted self-confidence. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, they say to themselves, they the shit, but they know better. They know they need healing. But on the outside, they look like the shit. When they look in the mirror, they say, I'm the shit. Yeah, you the world's definition of the shit, but that's it. 
The lover's card. I told you you could be dealing with the Gemini because I get a, I get duality here. I get somebody who just flip mode all the time. I feel like this lovers is coming in though because I feel like you are coming into partnership with somebody else. Somebody that's loyal. Somebody that you're passionate about. Somebody that, you know, y'all strength is together. Like literally, it's deep love is what I'm getting. Why? Because I feel like this is going to be a relationship where two people choose to be in love. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody lying, manipulating, like everybody telling the truth. Because, yeah, look, the high priestess. I feel like you're meeting somebody, too, that's very intuitive, somebody that's very in sync with you. This you that's what kind of union this is. I just keep hearing the two people want to be there. They want to make it work. Like, literally. Y'all intuitively, like, know that y'all y'all deserve to be together. Like, literally. I feel like, too, this, this is a connection that you, you kind of, like, keeping close to your chest. Y'all not sharing each other with nobody right now. Y'all just basking in how it feels to just finally be free. To be in a relationship with somebody who you ain't got to explain it to. They know what, what's needed. Clarify this abandon. I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios too, you, you need like a resurrection. I feel like, yeah, look. There you go, the four pentacles in reverse. I feel like, you know, you had to first of all detach from this shit with the four pentacles. You had to leave this person alone. This person is... This somebody who who just operate from greed, envy, possessiveness, and they they got a nerve to always have they hands out, but when they get shit, they stingy. Go check out the live I did. It, it's the same thing showing up, and this type of energy it delay everything and it causes loss and it causes obstacles. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you ab you abandon this this energy with this person. Yeah, look, the strength card in reverse. This shit making you look weak out here. This shit making it look like you ain't got no power. Why? Because you allowed this person to manipulate you because they got abandonment issues that they refuse to heal. Yeah, I, I'm getting to it. This strength card in reverse, it's like you realizing this shit is a struggle. Something about your inner strength is kicking in. Like, literally, you realize this ain't you. Yeah, so it got to be that check. Something moving you forward. So some type of opportunity come in as soon as you abandon this shit. Like literally some type of abundance come in and then you got the page of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be meeting this person who you going into union with. Could be in a club I just heard. And both of y'all like don't like clubs. Like I feel like y'all somewhere meeting where y'all don't eat. Y'all wouldn't normally be here yeah, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Y'all somewhere where y'all wouldn't even normally be at. Or y'all normally be in the bed at that time or something like that is what I'm hearing. This is some shit y'all overcommitted to like with a friend or something like that. Y'all celebrating something with, with opposite people or something like that. But this ain't normally y'all flow. <laughs> like at all. Like and y'all going impatient and y'all ready to go but really y'all didn't meet each other. What's this um trigger? Oh, that's a lot. But I'm seeing the sun in reverse. Damn, the temperance in reverse. The ten of wands and the hangman in reverse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody just refused to change. Somebody just had a standstill with this, this connection. And that's why where, that's where this person wants you to stay. Like, you, you, you could be in a relationship with somebody 15 years and never move. Nothing never grow. That's what's going on here. That sun in reverse and tempers in reverse is like, to me, that's what, what you need for a relationship to grow. But you need it this way. It's in the reverse. And then the ten of wands with the hangman is like, you keep working hard. One person working harder than the other, carrying the burden. And the other person just standing still, not budging, refusing to change. Don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah, look, the three of pentacles on the bottom of the day. And I feel like, Scorpio, you just ready to expand. You ready to move on. <laughs> like... You ready to, you abandoning this shit. And you don't even know that there's a cult behind this shit. Clarify cult. You didn't even know that. You didn't even know this some sinister ass energy. This really, this person, yeah, look, the nine of swords in reverse. This this person, man, when I tell you, they, they in inner turmoil. This, this person got a lot of deep-seated fears that they wanted to, to project upon you. A lot of secrets. I feel like, too, this person is releasing, like, a lot of worry on you. Like, you you picking up on that energy. Yeah, look, literally, the Queen of Cups, you picking up on it. As a healer, as a nurture, nurturer, as somebody that's, like, very compassionate and, empath, and uh, like, an empath, 
Yeah, look, the Ace of Swords. This person feels comfort in talking to you. I'm telling you all the things that this person found in you is what they now want them to sacrifice. I feel like literally like this person just for one, they weren't powerful enough. Your truth is, is just your mental clarity is just alerting you to the things that are going on with this person as soon as you detach. For some of y'all too, I just heard somebody could be going into surgery and, and feeling some type of way. You fine. You going to be okay. The, set, the surgery going to be successful. Your mind going to be more sharp, too, is what I just heard. Just like the instruments and the, and the doctors that God sent, they sharp. You're going to have successful breakthrough or whatever this is you're doing under the knife. It's going to be a success. What else? That was for somebody. Yeah, the seven of wands. These people couldn't take you out. The surgery can't take you out. You protect it. Like you maintaining control. You holding your own. <laughs> like literally is what's going on. Yeah, the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is a nine of cups, Scorpio. Wish fulfillment, definitely. I'm telling you, if somebody worrying about a surgery, don't. Don't worry about the surgery. You're going to be fine, boo. All right, let's get these unsent messages. Let's see what the hell they're talking about now. Whoever this is, you done left behind. You moved on. That five of cups, you processed this shit before you left. Like you accepted it, what it was, a loss. It might be for some of y'all, it might be a, a, a sorrow, like a sorrow, a sorrowful move for y'all finding peace. But that five of cups to me is you finding peace. Like it may hurt at first. I'm here too. Self forgiveness is needed. <laughs> like forgive yourself, literally. Ain't nothing happened wrong or nothing happened that's your fault. Like literally, you supposed to spread your wings. You supposed to get the fuck on. Yeah, we keep pulling this. You are my everything. You are my good vibes. You are the butterflies in my stomach. You are the person. When I think about you, I smile. You are the feeling of total happiness. You are the warm feeling of being loved. You are the sunshine that breaks through the clouds on a rainy day. You are the reason why my life feels complete. You are my everything. Literally, this person wish they could tell you that. It says, I know it shouldn't. The idea of you with someone else makes me sick. The idea of you being better for a person who's not me makes my heart pound. The thought of you loving someone else makes my stomach churn. Yeah. This, some, this, this I'm telling you, whoever this is you leaving or whoever your ex is, this is how they really feel. They just can't tell you this because they the ones in the cross. It says you were never mine. Yeah, because you in the cross with somebody else. It said we had an unexpected but undeniable pull to each other. In another life, we could have made it. We would have. I would make sure of it. I like to think you would too. I miss you, but you were never mind. So this person is somewhere reminiscing and thinking about y'all being together in a, a perfect setting. In a whole nother dimension. This person is thinking that you're his cosmic or she's your cosmic love. But due to circumstances in this life... It ain't happening. It says, what if we tried? I wish I had the chance to love you before now. All I can say is that I have love in my heart for you. See what I'm saying? They already in some shit. They already in some shit. Give me one more. That's what I be saying. Yup, look, right people, wrong time. <laughs> Come through, source. It says, I was just a foolish kid who was handed the flop. It handed the flawless pearl too early in life. Yeah, this person know that you was too good for them. They they got you got sent to them too early. Like literally on the bottom of the deck, it says you never let me be free, will you? It says I always love you. Yeah, this ain't you holding them. They holding themselves because Scorpio ain't trying to hold no fucking body. Literally. Mm -hmm. So Scorpio, a lot of energy coming your way, and I feel like. That's what you're abandoning, though. You're getting away from people, places, and things that's just like, they're they not willing to budge. And you done bent over backwards for each and every one of them. And Scorpio, in your life, we done bent over backwards. We done told you we were sorry when we know we went wrong just to save face because we loved you. And we want you to grow. We know that in time, God will teach you those lessons that we are not. It's not important for us to, to, to prove to you to be wrong. Like, we know in due time you're going to be right. You're going to find out that Scorpio was right. That's why people always come back, double back, spin the block, because they realize they can't do nothing but pay you homage at that point. 
They always had those epiphanies or those awakenings that damn Scorpio was right. I could have took this advice 50 years ago. What's the angel numbers here for Scorpio? So a lot of admiration coming your way. I'm, I'm getting that with that page of cups. 0909, yeah, new beginnings, literally. It says, look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Mm -hmm. Yep. 1441, I told you. My collective full of the 144, look at that shit. The 144,000, that's what I'm speaking to. Yeah, unique skills. It's that time of intense self-development. Focus your mind on your craft. You already have what it takes to succeed, but practice makes you a master. It also serves to find you true purpose. Leveling up in your career and business is a priority right now, Scorpio. Yeah, expansion. On the bottom of the deck, you got 1551. Hold your vision. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. <clears throat> it's time to put your faith and time into your ideas and pursue your goals and all and all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. I'm telling you everything coming into play because y'all detaching. Y'all are walking away. This shit already been there for you. You've been asking God over and over again and he's steady telling you let go of it. Let go and let him and let him purpose you. So a lot of y'all are doing that. I love you, Scorpio, so, so much. Y'all better get over there to that membership. This going to the membership first, and then it's coming to the collective later. And I don't know how later, but some of them won't even make it to y'all. I'll just be over there. I love y'all. See you in the next video.